Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did my sky replacement. When I showed you the BTS of how I captured this image, I also went ahead to just do a tiny demo of how I did my sky replacement. And it seems a lot of you guys were interested in it. So that is what this video is about. So you see that I've already imported the raw image into Photoshop. And this is the image that I need my sky to be replaced into. Now, another thing is you need to know exactly where you've saved your sky image, which you're going to be using for your sky replacement. So when you go back into Photoshop, and then you go to edit click on sky replacement when the dialog box opens all you need to do is click on this drop down right here and you can see I've already imported the sky all right but I'm going to show you how to do it so when you click on the drop down arrow you're going to see all of these other skies that Photoshop already has in there but because these don't necessarily match my background I want to import my own sky so this is where you click on the plus icon right here and navigate to where you saved your sky and my sky image is right here so when you do that the next thing you have to do is click on open and it will be imported right here so if I scroll down you will see that the sky replacement is right here right so I'm going to select that click out of this dialog box you can save these settings right here make sure that you're outputting to new layers and then just hit ok now that you have this imported into Photoshop you'd realize that if I hide the sky replacements group you would see that it is darkening down my subject a little bit so if I zoom into the image a little bit and then just do a before and after or hide the sky replacement group you will see that it is affecting her outfit a little bit so what do you need to do you need to make sure that you are telling photoshop that you don't want the sky to be on top of your subject and this is very easy because photoshop is smart these days just make sure you select your background layer click on select subject wait for photoshop to do its thing and then just go back onto your sky replacements group and then click on the layer mask now, if you look at the layer mask, you will see that where your subject is, is white, and then the background is black. This means that the sky is rather visible where our subject is. So if I hide the group again, you will see that our subject is getting darker. So this means that we need to invert our layer mask. By inverting the layer mask, you're telling Photoshop that you want the background rather to be white and your subject to be black. So all you do is make sure you select your layer mask and then hit Command I. Now this is going to invert the layer mask, all right? Now you will see that it isn't really blending in properly. So this is where you need to go in and then finesse this a little bit. So what I probably will do is just reduce the opacity of the sky because I don't want it to be too, too visible. And then I'll just make sure I select a good round big soft brush and all i'll do is start painting with black and you see that i'm beginning to feather this into the remaining parts of the image and in just a few steps we've been able to replace our sky fairly easy if you want you can zoom in and then do some fine tuning so for example just click over here and make the brush a little smaller and then refine this on instagram it's not going to be extremely visible but if you want to do it you know, just to give your image the edge, you can always do that. So you can see that it's what's affecting the earring a tiny bit. And all I have to do is just paint over. So if you want more quick videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And then I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm. 